Hello. Today we're going to uh, present uh, a new pulse electromagnetic field system that I, is one of my favorites. It was developed in the United States in California and is one of the most powerful systems that you can buy for the price that you have. This particular system is strong enough to actually create muscle contractions. And it's designed to pre produce ex very strong, I would say almost extremely strong, magnetic fields going right through the body. I've had this used on a number of patients who had tried other pulse magnetic field systems uh, that didn't work. And with only one or two treatments of this particular system, their pain was gone for weeks. So I'm very impressed by it. It has a control unit, a box, with a power switch and a green button and a red button. The red button, I guess in a sense, is a kill switch. The green button initiates the program and, and gets it working. This dial here is basically the control unit for the magnetic field and it turns clockwise or counterclockwise. As you turn it um, counterclockwise, you increase the field intensity. You bring it back, you can reduce the field intensity. When you turn it on, the magnetic system actually clicks. You can hear it clicking and you'll hear that in a second. The magnetic field intensity is designed to produce a burst of of a field, a strong pulse of a field, and then it and it, then it relaxes, and it keeps doing that. So basically, it's a single pulse field with a very high right, what we call rise time, at a very shallow peak, and then a rapid drop off. It's almost akin to the kind of discharge that you'd get with a flash camera. Very charge builds up, releases, and then and then discharges. So it tends to be a pretty low frequency magnetic field. Although at the top of the frequencies, at the point of the discharge, a lot of frequencies are released of all across a wide spectrum. And these have been measured, but they're proprietary, and I can't, I can't tell you, I don't know what they are, but there's a wide range of frequencies. So it's not just a single frequency. At the maximum, the field intensity is close to um, 0.2 Tesla, or 2,000 Gauss. I rarely get it up to that level. Uh, it's very uncomfortable to go probably beyond about 12 or 1400 uh, Gauss. At that level, you're definitely c causing muscle contractions. In a large, heavy athlete, 300-pound uh, defensive lineman, uh, very bulky, a lot of muscle mass, that you can often get up to higher intensities with the system. And that is almost like the ideal candidate for this, for this system. Not just the only candidate, everybody can use it but uh, almost the ideal candidate because in those individuals it's very hard to get the magnetic field to go deep into the body. As we know, magnetic fields drop off with intensity as you move away from the surface of the magnet. This, this is the same with this system, but because of the level of intensity, you, you can get a, a very large, very strong magnetic field through the entire volume of the tissue that you're trying to treat. And it, it's surprisingly effective for that reason. As I said, it comes with a control unit. It has two ports, and it has three basic applicators. Well, four basic applicators. It has what's called a butterfly coil, and the magnetic field is almost the strongest, most intense at the center of the coil. It's like a figure of eight coil, basically. There are FDA-approved devices that use a similar kind of figure of eight pattern. Um, uh, the one that's approved particularly is used now for treating uh, treatment resistant depression. That's its FDA indication. There are other FDA approved magnetic devices similar to this, but again mo much more expensive, that uh, ca cause muscle contractions and they're designed specifically for that purpose. This is a much more general purpose machine. While it can do the muscle contractions, in other words you can actually cause muscles to rehab inside a cast um, because it'll go right through the cast, it'll go right through the tissues and actually cause the muscles to contract. And if you're trying to decrease swelling in tissue and again to rehab the muscle, not lose muscle mass during the time that you're, uh, you're uh, uh, wearing a cast, then this is an ideal system for that purpose. 
So I use the butterfly coil probably the most of any of these coils. There's another coil called the rope. This coil is long and you can basically wrap it up and down the entire length of an extremity or around a, sh around a shoulder or the upper chest, etc. So it's a very handy and useful uh, coil as well. Now the third basic coil is um, just a circular coil, but it's a wider circular coil, not the butterfly type. And this is, this is very useful for putting around a shoulder, uh, putting uh, over the neck and across the shoulders. I've used it myself to decrease the spasm and tightness in my shoulders. Um, again, you can put it around legs. You can take it and put it between, you know, put both legs in between it and treat both knees simultaneously. Another very handy coil. This whole unit comes basically in a travel bag. So you can take it through uh, through the airports or, or put it into uh, into um, baggage. So let me just turn it on. Um, and, beside, and this this down here, then this gray uh, piece is a whole body pad, and it has three coils built into it. Um, so they produce the same level of stimulation, and you can actually feel the muscles in your back contracting when you're laying on that coil. The good thing about it is, again, is it treats the whole body simultaneously. So it's very useful. You can even wrap the coils around the body, so from the chest down to, to the abdomen or from the, the lower back down the legs, uh, which can actually be a useful way to treat this. And that way, by creating a, a, um, a, a barrel, if you will, with the magnetic system, you increase the intensity of the field in the middle of that system uh, significantly. So let me just turn this on for you so you can see how it works. So you press the start button. Make sure that the dial is turned down all the way back to zero because you don't want to shock yourself or surprise yourself with the field going up suddenly. So you turn it on and you'll hear a fan going. There's two fans in the back. There's a plug in the back that just plugs into regular mains. And then you, you can turn on the button here and you may not hear the coil clicking, but this, but this is clicking. And you'll hear it actually as I turn up the volume. So actually you might hear it. Um, so let me turn up the volume. So you can hear that clicking. Now what happens is as you turn up the volume, the frequency, act the frequency of discharges actually decreases. So the frequency decreases. When you go back up, you can hear the clicking and the frequency actually increases significantly. Now, even below the level of, of discomfort with muscle stimulation, even below that level, you're achieving somewhere around 1,000 Gauss of magnetic field uh, stimulation to the body. So that's, a, again, a highly intense field. So let's turn it up some more. And you can hear how that clicking settles down. I haven't uh, initiated any contractions in my hand, but I can feel it like knocking in my hand. Now, now there's a little bit of muscle contracting. Not much. Now if I put it here on my shoulder, you can actually see my arm jumping from the contractions. That's how intense it gets. Let me drop it down and work it, work it up so that you, we can see, let me do it this way, so we can see the, when the muscle contractions actually begin. It's, an, uh, it's a weird feeling. It's not uncomfortable. It's just, it is a very weird feeling to have your muscles contracting involuntarily. So you can see that's a pretty significant level of stimulation. So I've got it up pretty high and the frequency is very low. Uh, you don't get the same degree of muscle contraction with the whole body pad as you do with these isolated coils. Um, I would say that, I'm going to turn this off. I would say that this is more of a professional grade or professional level system because you have to use extraordinary caution in, in using it. Um, there's research being conducted on it. There have been similar systems sold worldwide where there's been extensive research um, and it's, it's used for all sorts of medical applications. It doesn't have any specific use. 
I told you about the muscle stimulation and the musculoskeletal uh, stimulation and uh, for pain reduction. Those are just a limited set of uh, possibilities.